Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope you're all wonderfully well. Thanks so much for dropping in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Pisces, what is the overall energy surrounding Pisces? What is the overall energy surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Overall energy surrounding Pisces in their love life. Here we go, Pisces. Here we go. Trust someone else got that. I can't remember who. There's blessings, yeah. And stillness. Some of you just need to hold yourself in high regard. Just be still. Okay, just drift away. I feel like you have some blessings coming in. The situation's going to call for you to have trust, okay? Just remember, you're going to have to try and trust this. <laughs> some of you have trust issues because you had to cut somebody out, but you are being blessed here, so don't you fret. All right, Pisces? We have this stillness. Be still. Just drifting. We got Pisces. What is this going with the flow energy a little too? Just sort of, you know, trusting that there's blessings coming. Pisces. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Pisces viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Pisces, please. What do they need to know? Pisces love energy in the cards. Pisces. There we go. Pisces. There we are. Three of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ooh, some of you are going to, uh, some of you are going to meet somebody new or you're going to go out and have some fun. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling. You might have a few little bit of trouble with trust issues. You might, have, some of you definitely are having trouble trusting somebody or situation. You're meeting somebody new or you're going out. You want to talk, share your feelings, but now you've got trust issues. Okay, for some reason. But there is some kind of emotional fulfillment. Uh, you're looking into the future. I think you need to just go have some fun and trust that you're going to have a good time. You may meet somebody and actually really, actually see some kind of the future with them. You may really find it a really good time. So trust in this process. Yeah, look at that. There you are, Pisces, offering up that cup of love. Be careful who you offer that cup to, though. I think you have trust issues. You've had a hard time in love. Uh, you've been pretty beat up. It's been an uphill battle. So definitely, yeah, you feel, look a little bit hesitant to offer that cup. Like you're just sort of putting it out there. There's that look like, I don't know, can I trust you? Can I not trust you? Right? So yeah, I feel like there's something going on here, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio energy as well. Could be somebody who's having trust issues, all right, that you meet. They may not be the most trusting, right? Because they've had a hard time in their in their love life. Here we go. And then we have Seven of Cups. Yeah, so there is a bit of confusion. Somebody's worried. Someone has their options open. So there is some kind of... Someone's... There's something beautiful happening with this blessings. There's some kind of gift, some kind of choice being made. Okay. And I feel like there's something that is really going to be fun that's going to make you happy. You just have to trust in it. Just have to trust in it, Pisces. There we go. Fortune's fairy. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going in your favor. You have blessings coming. Something's ending. Something new is beginning. It's a whole new cycle. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a little bit of work. I feel like there's somebody who wants to come in. They're looking at the possibility of, of, they're seeing you, like they see the possibilities, they see you as the wheel of fortune, and I feel like they see that there's going to be some work to be done, because you may have trust issues, okay, I see that, yeah, this person's, yeah, I feel like this person, or you, yeah, someone sees the possibilities, like, but you, I feel like you get up in your head and you're afraid to move forward. You may have ended something with someone because you feel there was a third party. You didn't feel like they were a team player. There was a, because there was this lack of cooperation, but this person's coming in. They could be somebody you work with, could be a Cancer uh, or a Scorpio for that matter, because I do see a lot of water here. Could be this person reaching out. Maybe you're hesitant. 
Uh, maybe they are, right? It could go either way. Six of Swords, moving forward. Yeah, somebody is learning. They're up in their head thinking. Someone's fantasizing about coming towards you. They can see it's going to be a lot of work. Like I said, you may work with this person. You may have worked with them in the past. Oops, the cards are all upside down here. Let me flip that around. Yeah, moving forward. There's some kind of trip, some kind of travel going on, some kind of movement. Someone's learning something. They want to acknowledge this, okay? Well, somebody wants to come forward. They want to acknowledge something to you. Yeah, they're re somebody's seeing here. They want to move forward, but I feel like they see you have trust issues. Uh-oh, Pisces. Oops, there we go. Yep, King of Swords. So somebody's being very clever. They've learned something, and they're up in their head. They're trying to get clarity. Somebody may be wanting to come in and clear things up, or they have a strategy and a plan to come and make peace, to move forward with everything they learned. And um, someone wants to clear something up. Someone has intentions to move towards you. Uh, they want to kind of learn as they go. I feel like there's this... Queen of Swords is what it feels like, to be honest. Whenever I see that swan with her back turned, I always, the first thing I think of is a Queen of Swords, someone wanting to know the truth, nothing but the truth, or they'll cut you out kind of energy. So this could be you, could be them. Let's see what's going on with the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's some kind of event, gossip, something being said here. Um, tell me about the Three of Cups. Something out in the community. Yeah, we have eggs, success assured and good plans and hard work. Yeah, so there is somebody that you're going to meet and I feel like you're going to have a good time with them. It's going to be success. This person's going to be thinking, kind of dreaming about you. Uh, they see the possibilities of moving forward to you. They see you like this wheel of fortune. Uh, but something needs to end. Maybe they have trust issues. They always kind of get confused, feel like everyone, maybe feel like they're just an option or feel like everyone has their options open, that kind of thing. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. There we are. Coins. Money will be coming to you. So there is, this is coins. This is like reciprocation. Somebody's going to reciprocate. They're going to talk to you. Something is, somebody is going to come to you. They're emotionally available. This is going to make you happy uh, because I feel like you have some really good success here with somebody. You're going to meet somebody new and I feel like you're going to reciprocate but you're some of you because I do see that like the coins tossing and I have to just do what it's telling me um, somebody wants to reach out to you but there's this little bit of a fear here something to do with gossip it's the goose that laid the golden egg something's going on Yes, there's a bell. You're going to get a message. Somebody's going to reach out. You may not have talked to this person for a while. Maybe there was trust issues. Maybe you've had a tough time in love or this person gave you a hard time. But I feel like they, maybe they treated you like an option and you ended this. They weren't putting any work in or you didn't want to put any work into it. But I feel like the story's really more... Um, about this, ooh, a chain of events, yeah. So there's been a chain of events that have affected your life. Uh, it has to do with gossip, meeting somebody, uh, some kind of talk, reciprocation. People were talking back and forth, maybe about you or maybe about your person. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, something happened. There's, there's been a trust issue that started. It's a chain of events, a chain of talk, of gossip. Yeah, tell me about this. Wow, position of authority. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's coming in to take control of it. There's just too much talk and gossip. Uh, it's creating trust issues. They're looking at this, uh, trying to make this decision about either to end this or to come in and put some weather to work on it again. So we have temporary problems. So there's a little bit clouds, but they are clearing. This is temporary. Temporary confusion. It's cloudy, a little foggy. The, uh, the details probably aren't 100% clear of who said what, he said, she said, right? Yeah, that's what I see. Yes, yeah, this has to do with a dark-haired woman. Dealing a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Uh, oh, the fly on the wall. That's where I see. There's a fly on the wall. There's somebody here who's got dark hair that's very gossipy. Somebody's been chit-chatting back and forth, chatting up a storm. There's some kind of confusion. This person may be talking about 
somebody treating them like an option or keeping their options open. There's some kind of gossip about that. Tell me about the fortune fairy. Yeah, so you got someone two-faced. You know what? It's that Cancer had the similar reading. So there's some Cancer energy here. You guys, Pisces and Cancer, you got something going on here. And it does feel like it's a fairly big deal, but it's about to get cleared up, I feel. So there is somebody who's very catty. They're like the fly on the wall. They want to know everything, and they're very gossipy. My goodness, Fortune's Fairy, what's going on? End of a cycle, yeah. So you may have ended something with somebody because there was all this talk and gossip, something somebody was telling you. It's a pile of BS. It's a bunch of fantasies in their head. They might have told you, Pisces, that uh, somebody was uh, just treating you like an option, keeping their options open. I feel that, uh, wow. Let's see what this Fortune's Fairy has to say here. Fortune's Fairy... Uh, feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Ooh, yep. So this, whatever this person says, they're undependable and they're insincere. Okay, this person's definitely uh, being very two-faced. Okay, and uh, so I see a bit of a cat fight, sort of a catty kind of person. Uh, this very dark-haired person with very light skin, possibly, not necessarily. They could have a dark complexion as well for some of you. Yeah, this person's definitely uh, up to something. And I've seen this in the Cancer reading, similar person. So Cancer, Pisces, you guys have got someone in your group that's uh, causing problems, causing gossip, creating a lot of confusion. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is this here? Whoops, this card wanted to come out. Yeah, so there's some love here. So some of you really want to put some work into this. There's somebody that wants to come in, but there's this undependable person. This is something ended because of somebody. And there's just a lot of gossip. Oh my gosh, this feels really harsh. Like people just causing problems. So we have this love here. And we have the bird waiting for news, yeah. So somebody's waiting to hear from you. They're just concentrating on their work, doing their thing. So I feel that whatever this is, you're just waiting for it. And it has to do with love. Somebody wants to work on this situation. Somebody loves you. You love somebody else, but there's someone who's coming in between you. So let's see what this Three of Pentacles is about. Three of Pentacles, yeah. You're just waiting to hear from somebody. So we have a bow. Yeah, you were highly thought of, so don't worry about that. You're being highly thought of. And I feel as though there's somebody, and this could be a reverse energy too. There's teamwork, cooperation, third-party situation. Yeah, I feel like you're a team player. Uh, it could be this person around you is a team player as well, right? This, this love interest, whoever it is, this Cancer, Pisces. I feel like it's a cancer. I feel like there's, I honestly, I gotta tell you, I feel like it's a Pisces. Even though I know this is a Pisces reading, you may have Pisces in your chart, but flip this energy however you wish, because I just, there's something here to do with this movement. Something I've seen in the cancer reading, I can't remember what it is that makes me think that, but anyway, so there is some kind of trip, some kind of short journey here. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody's coming in to clear things up. Yep, someone's going to take the lead here and clear things up. I feel like, yeah, you will be taken care of. This person's going to come in and take care of this. Somebody's going to come in and clear this BS up because they've had enough. So, yeah, someone's cutting somebody out. So I don't know what's going on here. Tell me about trust. Tell me about trust. Why is there trust issues yeah there's a maybe you don't trust somebody because of what somebody else said trust dark hair man dealing or relationship with a man dark hair dark complexion so you may not trust this person maybe they don't trust you who knows mm -hmm. and then we have a hand in need of a helping hand okay so this person's going to come in somebody here stepping in and giving a helping hand here to do with clearing up this issue 
this person's going to assist in it. So there's, there's, or this person may be part of it, this gossip. I, I feel like there's like some jealousy or something here. Somebody's just determined to, uh, determined to jump in between you, Pisces, and somebody else. Possibly this person who you, you know, this could be you or it could be, um, you thinking about this person that way, this teamwork, cooperation, compromise, getting together, acknowledge something that needs to be acknowledged, um, that you're highly thought of, but this person may be telling you that this person doesn't like you or something, they hate you. There's a need for some things to be cleared up. You will be shown the way, Pisces, okay? Those things really need to be cleared up here. So someone's coming in to take care of this. This could be you. Um, you could actually be this King of Swords, just had enough, you're, you're strategizing, thinking, becoming clear, it's time for this to, de to deal with this. There's somebody here that uh, feels um, maybe cut you off because they weren't being treated, you know, fairly, holding, you weren't holding them in high regard because of what somebody else said. Okay, so we have this fair man. So somebody here is a fair man, that could be you Pisces or it could be this person. Okay, that's turning their back, cut you out because of what somebody said. So we have blessings. Ooh, crazy, these readings. The Cancer and Pisces, yeah, there's something ending, something transforming. So whatever's going to happen, this is going to clear up. Because uh, there's two people that love each other here. And you've got someone who's very undependable that's really causing, a, has caused a problem between you and this person. So there is a change for the better. So things are going to get better. You have blessings. I feel like you're protected with this staff. Somebody here has got your back. They're going to take care of this situation. They, somebody wants you back too. I can tell you that right now. And then we have the jug, the lighthearted, carefree time. So you may get together and have a few drinks, clear this up. feel like you'll just sort of, somebody's coming in to make peace, to uh, tell you everything they've learned. Uh, there's something that needs to be acknowledged here. So we have stillness. Oh my gosh. If this were me, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm just, I'm going to go in hermit mode, leave me alone, lock the doors, close the blinds, shutter the windows, board the place up. <laughs> oh, who needs it, right? But that's what happens though. I mean, sometimes things got to get sorted out. Uh, when you get these kind of people who come in, this fly on the wall, this gossipy person who's always snooping and spying and gossiping. So let's see what's going on with stillness. Why is this stillness here? Why is stillness here? Horseshoe, yeah. So you got some good luck, whatever. Good luck is on your side, Pisces, okay? So I feel that uh, there's somebody definitely causing a lot of problems. Now you guys can flip this energy as well as you see fit, okay? Flip it around if you must. Yes, wow. All right. I just want to do one more card here. I want to go see about this butterfly. Why is the butterfly? What is this change for the better? Dog far away. So somebody is thinking of you. Somebody that you haven't been talking to. Uh, maybe you weren't talking for a long time. But I feel like they're going to reach out uh, because of this. And this could be you, Pisces. You could be the one to go clear this up. Okay. Uh, very well. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter if you see this. You know, it's 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 weird with these cards because, you know, very well could be a woman and it's coming up as a man. So just take it however it resonates. But uh, for a lot of you, some of this stuff will definitely ring true. Uh, it's definitely a cancer involved too because I see in cancer, the cancer reading is really similar. It's almost identical, but it kind of flips in places. So... That's what happens with gossip, though, right? Someone's coming in to take control, though. Someone's got a position of authority here. Yeah, secret admirer. Somebody is admiring you. You're admiring somebody else. I feel like whatever all this gossip is, all this confusion, where somebody was treated like an option, uh, there was a lack of reciprocity, it's all going to be cleared up. So You have good luck on your side. And we have a handshake, yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna get together and um, definitely deal with this. 
Uh, there is a deep, deep personal strength and peace and assured success here. So you could shake hands, but you may just, um, could be a hug, right? Making a deal to just put it behind whatever it is and just drift along and make peace. Whew. Tell me about the feather. Yeah, I just want to know. Someone around you is undependable. So th this situation has stopped. This is a wheel of fortune. This is like over. End of cycle. Yeah, moving towards peace and harmony here. Uh, you've overcome this mountain, this obstacle. Uh, it's a long journey. Physical, mental will leave you wiser at the end. So this was tough. Whatever this has happened, it's tough. But you're going to be wiser. Somebody's learned from this. Okay. Uh, you've learned from this situation. Moving forward. Beautiful. All right. Let's uh, see what the outcome is. Yeah, a little bit crazy, a little all over, but it, you really get the gist of it, I'm sure. Uh, whatever happens, it's going to have a good outcome. So actually, let me just ask, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to this this person who's gossiping, this dark-haired person that's talking about options, talking about, or creating all this confusion? Uh, this very delusional person who seems to think somebody else likes them or there's, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, things are going to be cleared up. So things will be cleared up here. Wow. Nice. Everything's going to come out to out in the open. Tell me about this dark-haired woman. What's happening here? This gossipy person. And maybe the gossipy person isn't dark. This could be you, Pisces, just being involved in all this. Uh, so we have the rose. Yeah, so there is a new beginning here. So things are going to be cleared up for whatever has happened here. Um, just whatever you do, don't just don't tell. If you're meeting someone new or you're uh, having a reconciliation or whatever it is, or there was an issue, don't tell too many people. If you have one particular friend <laughs> that kind of likes to gossip, they may start it, but other people could run with it. Okay, they may not mean any harm, but it could cause a lot of problems. So really watch that. Yeah, there is some romance in the air here. Things are going to clear up. So it's lovely. One more. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, you're on the road to success here. Things are moving forward. Yeah, it's time to act. Time to just move beyond this and put an end to it. So there we go. All right, what does spirit have to say about this? What does spirit have to say? Yeah, this could be you. Somebody was gossiping about you. You could be a dark-haired woman. Uh, there may be a dark-haired man that you're not trusting because of what somebody said. Okay. Someone said they didn't like you. You're just an option. You're not important to them. You're dreaming. They don't care about you. That kind of thing. Um, you are held in high regard by this person, so don't you worry about it. Okay, here we go. And then we have, yeah, so somebody's been in sadness and isolation. That was in the Cancer reading, too. Yeah, you're coming out of this. So this has made you pretty sad. Uh, you're definitely coming out of isolation. So, yeah, it's like I said, go into hermit mode, hide, lock the doors when this stuff goes on. Yeah, you can come out and play now, Pisces. Here we go. And we have Blossom, yeah. So things are going to blossom. There's change. Yeah, whatever, whatever happened with you and this person because of this, it is going to get cleared up. And I feel like you're going to kiss and make up, hug and make up, handshake, whatever it is. <laughs> if this person's at a distance. They are going to come over to see you, to talk to you, to tell you what they've learned. So, yeah, so there's somebody here, definitely is the master of their domain. Somebody's got their heart kind of boxed up. Someone's protecting their heart. And that's probably how this happened. Okay, if somebody was in protective mode, protecting their heart. Someone needs to open up their heart chakra here, though. And we have... Oops. One more card. There we go. Yeah, spread your wings. It's time to go. Time to open up. Yeah, time to open your heart and go. I love it when this card comes out. I wish it would come out with every single reading. <laughs> It's the best advice. Yeah, take the lead. So you're going to take the lead. Uh, it could be you taking the lead, but it could be somebody coming towards you. But it looks like it's you just taking the lead. Uh, this very well could be you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, possibly. All right, coming in to clear things up. Or it could be the person 
This is the leader here. There's definitely somebody of authority in here. Somebody who knows what's going on. Some Somebody who's... Uh, very knowledgeable, um, not afraid to take the lead, you know, somebody uh, with that Mars type energy uh, that's going to deal with this. So lovely. Take the lead. All right. Or let this or this person is it could be you. If you got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, it's, if it's possible, more than likely you. If not, it's this other person. So take care. Just relax. It's all going to work itself out. It may take a little bit of time. If this is something that just happened up here and you haven't you haven't got the gist of all this gossip. It hasn't been exposed yet. And that you know that there's something you need to act on here. Okay. And there's a little bit of a mountain road. Uh, you know. But you're on the road to success if you move past this. But there is something to do with romance here. Okay. So take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.